Hi, everybody. This is your Superpowers Team read-along book. Every time you hear the sound, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now, if you're ready, we'll begin the Battle for Apocalypse. Don't forget to turn the page every time you hear the sound. Volcanoes rumbled in the distance, and a foul smell filled the air on the desolate planet of Apocalypse. Amidst all this devastation stood Darkseid, ruler of this wasteland, glaring at his evil warriors below him in a broken-down combat arena. Raising his arm above his head, Darkseid spoke. Behold, my loyal servants. With this device, a Stargate generator, I now have the power to bring the heroes of Earth here to Apocalypse itself, so that we may utterly destroy them. But the question remains. Are you ready to defeat the heroes? One by one, Darkseid's warriors stepped forward. With my electro axe, I can slice through anything. Nothing can stand before the might of Steppenwolf. Still, there is nothing compared to Mantis's power. I am an energy vampire. I can steal any hero's power and make it my own. I don't need anyone else's power. Calipac has plenty of his own. Enough to wipe out any hero. And if that's not enough, my beta club will finish the job. Darkseid's advisor, Desaad, stood beside him and shouted out a challenge to the warriors. You can all say that you are ready to defeat the heroes. Now you must prove it. Let the exhibition begin. The three villains took their places in the ruined arena. Each was determined to prove that his powers alone would be enough to defeat the heroes of Earth. A bizarre demonstration began to unfold before Darkseid. Steppenwolf raised his weapon and shouted, Witness, as the amazing electro axe slices through this stone column as though it were butter. <laughs> Truly, Lord Darkseid, one could not ask for a finer weapon to use to destroy the heroes of Earth. Calabac was not impressed. He picked up a stone column as if it were made of cardboard. Holding it high above his head, he yelled defiantly, Bah! I don't need any machines to give me strength. I use only my hands to crush even stone. No hero of Earth could even hope to be my match. Mantis slowly lifted his insect-like arms and aimed them at Calabac. Perhaps you are the strongest, Calabac. But there are limits to the value of pure, uncontrolled strength. For example, how menacing would you be if someone took your power, harnessed its raw energy for their own use, and then used it against you? With that, a deadly ray lashed out from Mantis's claws. The pain shot through Calabac's body, and he screamed, ah! You're draining my power away. I feel so cold, so weak. I can hardly stand. Calabac was spared further agony as Dark Side commanded, Enough! I have seen all I need to see. The time is right for the heroes to be brought here to Apocalypse to face their final defeat. Meanwhile, light years away on the planet Earth, Firestorm and Red Tornado were sitting inside the Hall of Justice monitor room, checking on all the activities of their fellow heroes. Firestorm was complaining. Man, Red Tornado, this is boring. Monitor duty in the Hall of Justice is about as exciting as watching paint dry. 
Just look at those screens. There's nothing happening. Red Tornado patiently explained. Monitor duty is very serious work, Firestorm. You never know when. Red Tornado's voice trailed off in mid-sentence as a strange noise exploded in the room. Everything started spinning, and the heroes felt dizzy. A few seconds later, Firestorm and Red Tornado vanished into thin air. At exactly the same moment in Gotham City, Batman had just captured the Joker, when suddenly, the same strange noise rang out in the street. The Joker laughed. <laughs> you may have nabbed me, Cape Crusader, but it looks like you're going out of the picture yourself. Look at you, you're fading away. It was true. As the startled policeman watched in horror, Batman slowly disappeared. Within moments, still more heroes began to disappear. People watched in disbelief as first Superman, then Green Arrow, and finally Hawkman faded away before their eyes. In headlines all across the country, the frightened cry rang out, Where are the heroes? The answer lay millions of miles away on the foreboding planet of Apocalypse. As the heroes slowly came to their senses, they discovered that they had been transported through time and space, right into the middle of a cold, hostile world. Red Tornado seemed particularly shaken by the ordeal. Oh, I, I feel terrible. As if all my circuits have suddenly been scrambled. I don't feel much better, Tornado said Hawkman, as he lifted himself off the ground. But at least we all seem to have arrived in one piece. Yeah, but where are we? Firestorm asked. It's some kind of arena, but it's so old and broken down. Doesn't look like anyone's been here for ages. Sitting on the floor of the dusty arena, Superman studied the surroundings. Suddenly, it dawned on him. Wait a second, group. I recognize this place. The crumbled buildings in the distance. The desolation, it all adds up to one place, Apocalypse. But why have we been brought here? As the dazed heroes sat wondering, they could not see the four villains sneaking up behind them. Without warning, Mantis lunged at Superman, locking his claws into the shoulders of the Man of Steel. Superman gasped weakly. Arr! Mantis sneaked up behind me, and I'm losing my strength. I've got to help the others, but I can't break free. Mantis tightened his hold and snarled. That's right, Superman. You can only watch as my companions destroy your friends, starting with Green Arrow. With one fell swoop, Steppenwolf had sliced Green Arrow's bow in two. And Green Arrow was in trouble. Now, Steppenwolf was upon him, shouting, Ah, the Emerald Archer is already finished. A single sweep of the Electro Axe has rendered him helpless. Steppenwolf raised the deadly weapon again and prepared to deliver the final blow. Helpless, Green Arrow lowered his eyes and braced himself. Suddenly, Firestorm flew down from the sky, calling... Hang on, buddy! A burst of my atomic restructuring power will repair your bow as good as new! Thanks, Firestorm! Green Arrow shouted back, relieved. And before the Emerald Archer could reload his bow, Firestorm had unleashed another burst of atomic power at Steppenwolf's electro -axe, transforming it into mud. Steppenwolf retreated in horror. What? My great electro -axe. destroyed! I must flee! Once Firestorm and Green Arrow had defeated Steppenwolf, they hurried to the aid of their friends. Superman was still under attack by Mantis, and Batman was slowly being crushed in Calabac's powerful arms. Swooping down towards Calabac, Firestorm called out, 
Hey, Calabac, you barbarian bozo. Bet you're too slow to zap me with that big, bad beta club of yours. Take your best shot, Bats. Calabac dropped Batman to the ground and whirled around to face Firestorm, his eyes wild with rage. What? You dare to challenge me? I will smash the Batman later. First, I will blow you out of the sky. <laughs>